And so what we end up having here, what we know now from the email that we didn't have before, is that, again, going back to number three, uh, number three has, in its final form, um, talks about uh, being associated with YSL and, you know, we talk about the video and uh, where he brandished a weapon using a drive-by shooting to harm a person named Keller Rival gang member. But but the state knew, certainly when they were when they were redirecting Mr. Mr. Sledge a little while ago, Mr. Sledge, through his attorney, had sent them, had given them the information, had specifically denied that number three was accurate. Y'all are saying had specifically denied, and I don't read it that clearly. I don't think that's a specific denial. That's more of like a, I'm clarifying that this is really more about the girl than anything else, which it frankly is, I mean, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I don't read it that way. You know, correcting these, these very specific factual allegations, send them to the state, and the state, well, because it doesn't appear in the factual acknowledgements, the state ignored it or they refused to make it. Okay, so I, I'm not sure what y'all are looking at, because the version of number four, factual acknowledgement number four, that Mr. Wright is speaking to in this email that he sent on December 27, 2022 at 8.43 p.m., defendant had personal knowledge that YSL associates were planning to murder Donovan Thomas Jr. Mr. Wright's response to that is essentially, Mr. Sledge does not think the shooting of Peanut was planned, but more impromptu or at least very short or little planned. So that clearly got planned, uh, changed because our final version doesn't say they were planning to. Yes. So I cross-examined Mr. Sledge and the state's theory is that there was a, quote, gang war starting in approximately the fall of 2014 right. that escalated with the fight on January 6, 2015 of Mr. Copeland at the Club Crucial.